hello guys welcome back in this video we will learn to address one problem uh, which comes in pole vector constraints so i have created two different join chains um, one is basically uh, uh, you know it's it's it was created in a perfect orthographic view uh, which is actually very much straight and uh, there's no issue with this joint however this joint is uh, placed uh, in an angle if you could see that's in an angle and when we create a pole vector and we end up uh, getting a twist in that so I would like to uh, you know uh, find out a solution or give a solution which can actually avoid that flip there are different ways but I, I thought to create one easiest way to fix this so hope this should help uh, in creating uh, a pole vector without any twist oh, firstly I would like to create a IK spline handle uh, sorry IK RP solver okay RP solver handle from here till here now I would like to create a nerve circle as the control okay so let me add this into a layer and give it a color so that I could clearly see it so I've got the circle which I'm going to use it as a control and I'm going to paste this okay there or not paste I would like to snap it there at the knee and then move it outside and then rotate it 90 degrees so I've got the curve uh, precisely on, on the front so I'm going to freeze the transformation now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the curve which is going to be a control and the IK handle and before going into that if you should see the rotations of the hip joint and uh, the knee joint and the ankle joint is zero so I'm going to select them and I'm going to apply pull vector constraint there's only weight option so now I could generally twist it but if you could see the rotation of this uh, hip knee are not affected at all that means there's no uh, twist in the uh, joint there now I, when I do the same technique here create a nerve circle snap it at the knee snap it at the knee and then uh, move it front and then rotate 90 degrees and then when I create a IK handle okay um, which is going to be the RP solver from there to there uh, you need to check the rotation values when you create this so they are zeros okay now when I select this control okay and um, select the IK handle and apply pole vector constraint just have a closer look on this joint see there's a twist there right and uh, the rotations are gone so the hip is rotated to you know align with this curve and this is the problem so how do I address this problem is what I'm going to talk so let me delete the IKEA handle reset the values to zero and then we will address this in a very crazy way that is I'm going to use a modeling tool okay and I'm going to use this tool called create polygon tool okay what is create polygon tool is when I click 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 it creates a model a, a polygon face and uh, the best thing is you can start dropping points as many as you want so I'm going to use that and when I click three times it is going to give me a perfect plane okay so I'm going to use uh, the create polygon tool hold uh, or press V okay and then click click and create a plane which is uh, uh, will be connecting these three points of the joint chain which is hip knee and ankle so 
these points are perfectly at the joints and that is possible by pressing V or you can use point snap option I'll show you once again here we have snapping options right so you can use this option called snap to point click 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 and then that gives a plane there remember that these three joints make a plane anytime and that plane is where I want this uh, control to be on okay so I'm going to select this vertex but before going into that let me put this into a layer hide temporarily select that vertex and move so that this plane is not going to affect that means it, if I move it if I move it, it it may affect the plane there it will go off the plane so the idea is to uh, move this uh, precisely on the plane and it's very simple uh, you need to change your move tool settings okay to component okay now what you are going to do is move it in Z axis like that and you should able to see it's going to move only on the plane once you move it okay uh, you can create a control and snap it there okay once it is snapped but before going into that you can generally draw one thing that is you can group it um, so I'm going to select that curve alt shift D and then it's control group it it is control group so select that group and bring it here okay and uh, let me hide this plane now you might be thinking the curve orientation is also something which I need to be in this side so what you need to do is select your group okay uh, again go to the tool settings of the move make sure that it is an object so that you could see which axis is going to face the knee joint select the knee joint and uh, carefully select the group you can take help of outliner and then go to the constraint and then use this aim constraint and the aim vector is going to be the y axis and the up vector could be z axis and then I'm going to apply it and you should be able to see that curve rotates so that it, it faces towards the joint right that's nice now you can delete the constraint now if you could see this control is freezed I didn't do freeze but it is looking freeze because uh, the previous transformations that is the curve from here coming here and rotating is affected to the group not to the curve so that's really cool so I'm going to create a IK handle okay and that should be the rotate plane solver make sure that the rotations are not affected now select the control and the IK handle apply the pole vector constraint to avoid the rotation now I should be able to see the joints rotation are 0 0 0 and now you could generally move it perfectly so that's quite simple okay so people use often different techniques you can try that also but this is uh, way easier than uh, the other methods okay 